Okay, welcome back. This is so. Previously, we found out that you know the orbs in the sanctuary, so it's not like some sort of wildlife sanctuary or something weird like that. And we went to see uh, what was her name, Alara or something, who was looking after the orb, but she's not very friendly, doesn't trust anyone, and said we need to get a token from the forest king. So presumably the forest king must be in the forest. So that's where we'll be going now. Ah, home at last. Every time I stand at this hallowed gate, I am in awe of what lies within. Trees, flowers, streams, fish, and abundance of food. What more could anyone ask? Mud! Of course! The writ of authority will suffice for me. Yeah, well. Let's see. Walk to path to forest. Well, that was quick. Found the king already. Your Majesty, we are most grateful for this audience. How may I be of service to you? Oh, uh... Beg for mercy, ask for advice, tell him he didn't steal the orb. Well, I'm like pretty sure he's not gonna listen. But I mean, I suppose we should at least try? I mean, why did we get accused anyway? Oh, just because we happen to be a fox. I didn't steal the orb. I really didn't. Then let truth be your sword. And honor be your shield, and you shall have nothing to fear. You know, there's, um, I mean, probably a lot of people have read the, I mean, obviously a lot of people have read the Discworld novels by Terry Pratchett, but I mean, there was, um, in one of them, I can't remember which one, you know, he has the, they, they mention this quote, you know, the innocents have nothing to fear. And there it goes on with to say, like, it's a phrase that sends innocent people everywhere trembling, you know. Because, um, yeah, that's, that doesn't usually work out that way, right? Innocent have nothing to fear kind of thing. It's, yeah. But, okay. Getting off topic, let's just talk about In Lara. In our investigation, we sought to explore the sanctuary of the orb. We were, however, stopped by Alara, matron of the sanctuary. Yeah, she won't let us in unless you say so. What the Boar Garden means is that she requires a token of authority before she will grant us admittance. Isn't that what I said? It is pretty much. Elara is wise. There is no one more qualified to guard the orb than she. Well, and apparently that's not true. It's lost. It is she who feels it most deeply. If she were more qualified, she wouldn't have lost it. Take this to her. This will convince her of your authority. A golden apple? That's it? This apple will speak volumes. Now go. Your quest will be an arduous one. And time is of the essence if war of the war is to be avoided. We are in your debt, Your Majesty. Um, these characters are a bit strange, you know. I mean, they're like just randomly accuse people. They're. Why can we look at these? Can we look at the flowers? Maybe we can take a flower. I haven't. A beautiful sight, a lovely scent. It's nice to be able to pause for this. Um, key pick up. These flowers deserve a better fate than to be plucked from their home by me. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes you just wind up getting whatever fate you're given, so... Can't we... These flowers deserve a okay, fine, we won't pick up the flowers. Home. Could have been useful. Okay, so we've got our golden apple token. Let's get back. Yeah, I mean, these things want to... They want to go to Wolf because somebody that they don't know has taken this um, orb. It just seems a bit weird, right? But, okay, can we open the gate by ourselves? No. But we'll knock again, so. Means we've got to go walking through all this path again. It's not even clear who let us in. But okay, walk, 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 walk. Past all the little bunny rabbits. Cute bunnies. 
sure it's fine if we say that. Oh, there's music. It's just really like a weird tapping sort of sound. I mean, not my mouse. There, there's more music now. I actually like the music here. It's quite not not in a specific part of the game, but the music in the game in general has been nice. Okay, we're back. Let's talk to Ilara. Yeah, it's got a weird way of accepting clicks. You in. have the token of which I spoke. I believe we do. Uh, use. Oh, give. There's a give. Never mind. Give. Ah, give it to. Oh, okay, cool. The Forest King sends his respects and bids us give you this golden apple as a token of authority. He said that it would have meaning for you. Indeed it does. This apple is a souvenir of a quest he went on for his king when he was but a young soldier. He was as noble a warrior as he is a king. Then you will permit us access to the sanctuary so that we may investigate the stolen orb? You may search to your heart's content. I shall open the gates. Good fortune be with you. Says Thank you, Miss Dramatic way. Um, okay, now these gates she's opening are somewhere else, I guess. I mean, isn't this the temple? I don't know. Let's at least look around here. Yeah? Maybe this is the so. Path. That's where the orb was. Okay, yeah, this is where it was. So it's not like there really were any gates that needed to be opened. Mm, that smells nice. Mm, can't look at the candles. What can we look at? So just the pedestal and the incense bowl. Mm, that smells nice. I assume it smells nice the other side too. Mm, that smells nice. Can we use the pedestal? I wouldn't want to put myself on a pedestal. Okay, he said that. I can't figure out how to use it. Maybe we can pick up an incense bowl. Look, don't touch. Yeah, but I mean, I've got to find something here, and there's not really much to go on. I mean... Okay, what I did notice, at least when we first got here, was it said you could walk to the skylight. So maybe there's something to investigate there. Okay, maybe we can't walk to the skylight. Very interesting, aren't Never mind. Uh, but I mean, we're here, so presumably there should be a clue. Of some sort. It certainly doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, my save button is flashing. So this is the mysterious Alara. That means I should probably save because it's been a while since I saved. And let's actually do that quickly. Uh, because I actually forgot to save the last one, so uh, I can't type. And let's just say episode two, because I mean we finished episode two. Um, but yeah, never mind. Sorry about that. Small distraction because to make the game happy, and my computer has had some issues, but that might be related to the graphics card, but this game is not I likely to challenge that. I hope your search has been useful. Don't give up. Actually, it has not. It has been not very useful searching here. Mmm, that smells nice. There were incense bowls. Is that just part of the wall? I mean, 
is there something I should see here? Because I'm not seeing anything. I couldn't use things. I can't figure out how to use it. Yeah, I couldn't use the I pedestal. I wouldn't want to put myself on a pedestal. I couldn't pick up anything. Unless... I mean, maybe we can go deeper into this place, but apparently not. Um, and there wasn't much. So that's where the orb rested. Yes. Okay, so we really did do all the things that maybe we could here. I mean, we can't open the bowl. Nothing to open, looks like. And we can't open a pedestal, I assume. There's no place to open it. Which is tricky then. I was really hoping to find a clue of any sort. Um, but maybe there are no clues here and there are more in the temple grounds. So what we did see was there were statues which looked foxy a skylight and pretty much that's it in terms of clues we're not getting very much pretty foxy looking statue yeah it says the same thing again the temple looks quite boring from here and the temple looks quite beautiful from here yeah, so they don't have any thoughts on the matter then. Maybe we need to talk to one of these but bunnies that keep running, running around. And... Oh, oh I mean, I mean there, there are, are some doors, doors here, so... Let's, let's just go into a door, maybe. No, open. Ah. Uh, no, everyone's in front it's of It's locked. I guess there's nobody home. That's a perfect time to go investigating. But, yeah. What about the other door? Wait, wait, wait. Bunny, bunny, bunny. No, come back. Bunny, bunny. Bunny. Where's the talk to them? I've been warned about your kind. Stay away. Okay, bunnies don't talk to foxes. That's perhaps understandable. It's locked. I guess there's nobody home. They could use some nicer hitboxes for talking to things, but is this it's locked. Not? Okay, I it guess there's nobody around here. Was it just flowers? Can't pick them up, even if they're not as fancy as the other ones. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if I should try every single door here. It's locked. I guess there's no. Because that could get kind of boring. But ooh, is that something? It's a cup. It looks like an ordinary cup. Maybe it's a cup of the thief. Okay, so we have a cup. That's that's something. It looks like an ordinary cup. It's an ordinary cup, but. It's an ordinary cup that I didn't have before, so that is a positive development. Uh, that's not the gate that we've been through before. So where does this gate take us? There's a bird bath. Maybe we can use the cup with the bird bath that everyone's standing in front of. Please move. Especially Ock. Okay, let's try use the cup with the bird bath, and then we can pick up water. I shouldn't drink any of that water. Well, no, we shouldn't drink the water. We probably don't want to drink water out of the irrigation trench either. It's an irrigation trench of some sort. Well, but at least we found something, and uh, let's just keep looking around. Maybe there's more things. 
Ah, look at that. It's a footprint. Ah, God. These things keep standing in front of everything I want to look at. There we go. Footprint. Wait! What? It's a footprint. Do you recognize it, Ia? It doesn't look familiar, but tracking was never my strong point. It's Perhaps we can fox. find someone who can identify it. We'll have to bring him here. We certainly cannot move the mud. What should we do? Okay, so someone who can identify footprints. Someone who can track stuff. Did we hear from anyone who could track things? Uh, I don't remember that. But at least we, we got somewhere. Interesting looking one, certainly not a hoof, and it wasn't like a normal paw. I mean, that could be, it looked like it had long claws, so oh, almost finger like as a bucket. Can we pick up the bucket? I want to just collect some stuff. It's an empty bucket. Yeah, cool, I've got a bucket as well. Um, I mean, we can't move the mud, but what you can always do is make a cast of an impression in the mud and then take that to some... Ooh, oh, no. It looked like a skeleton, but it's actually just a fountain. Uh, it appears to be a water fountain. It does appear to be a water fountain. In fact, I think it is a water fountain. Okay, so we've got a paw print. That is a good bit of information. Could someone track things? I'm trying to think. There might have been someone. Maybe maybe there's someone in the ferret village when I'd wandered around there. Wasn't there some guy that was like hunting or fishing or something? Because if so... Maybe he knows tracking. I mean, it, no, it wasn't anyone at the fairground, because, I mean, we talked to people in the last episode there, and in the first episode, and the first episode was just the weird hedgehog, who was not helpful, as most of these characters have not been helpful. And who puts a bench right in front of a door like that? Hardly seems useful. But okay, so I'm pretty sure then we need to check out this ferret village again and find this tracking person. Okay. Where did I find this tracking ferret? I think he was actually not in the main part, but somewhere in the outside. But again, not entirely sure. And this is where a mini-map would be useful, so I could see where I have been. But at least I'm making progress, so I'm happy about that. And I've got a bucket and a cup, so I can really carry a lot of liquids around. Just not from bird baths. I mean, technically I could carry it from a bird bath, but there's no need. Or maybe the person with the statues can give us, like, some sort of whatever she makes statues out of that we can make a cast, but probably not. It's maybe a bad idea. Let's not worry about that. We'll find one of these ferrets. There's a ferret. Right, come back ferret, ferret. Wait, there's a work. No. Work a ferret. No, work. Oh no. Talk to... Work of it. Pardon me. Yes. Maybe well, it was that other ferret that we should have talked to. Okay. Not the work of it. 
that. No. Ah. It's also a worker ferret though. Talk, talk. No. There we go. <coughs> yes. Well, thank okay, you for no. your time. Also a worker ferret that is not useful. But I'm like 60% sure that we saw something here that was useful. I mean, it's not the highest percentage ever, is it? But it's, it's better than nothing, eh? Uh, so we need a hunter ferret, or fishing ferret, or some outdoorsy ferret that knows what they're doing. What does Riff do? Are we like a... I mean, we play games, but I mean... We won a medal, is that sort of what Riff does? He plays games, a professional gamer? And this path goes nowhere. I should probably talk to the town planner about that. Uh, See, now my issue is I can't easily do a systematic sweep of this place. And I have no idea how much I'm missing. I mean, I can always go back to my old recording and see where I found this tracking person, because I'm pretty sure I did find a tracking person that liked the outdoors, but... I mean, this was the only place I really explored. I mean, explored, it was really just wandered mindlessly around, like this. Uh, There's that path again, that wasn't helping me, but maybe we can go further south or between these fences. And... No, there's lots of trees there. Very small trees, actually. Okay, that doesn't seem like we can go that way either. Hmm. In the meantime, I should probably distract from the... <laughs> Wait, what was that? Is that just a work of it? Okay. Probably was just a work of it distract from the monotony with some sort of observation. Like, where are these ferrets taking these planks of wood? What are they building? Who knows? It doesn't look like there's any construction around. is or was well it's a bit a bit annoying um i would have thought maybe he'd be sort of out here in the woods because that's where you'd expect him but maybe i'm wrong I mean, it technically wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Okay, now we're out again. Uh, yeah, because I mean, we, we looked at the castle, which was with the boars. That's a house up there. That's unusual. 
Um, okay, let's just take a quick look at this house. I mean, if someone's living out in the middle of nowhere, maybe they know how to read tracks. Taiko's house. It looks cool. Seems to be a lighthouse. What a great view this place has. You had to walk all that way to find out. Who's Taiko? Um, there we go. Hello, sir. We've come to Forever Mountain in hope of peering into the wildlands. That we might have some sort of idea where we are going. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Tycho Northpaw. Perhaps you could tell us something about the Wildlands. I will tell you what I know of the Wildlands. It is a place of great danger. It is also a place of great magnificence. There are hostile tribes, treacherous terrain, and roaming reptiles. It is also a land of great beauty and power. It sounds like a truly wondrous place. I could just as easily be describing the known lands. But it sounds very different! In some ways, the wild lands are very different from the known lands. In some ways, they are very similar. Okay, so basically, I think that's for something yes, else later. Yes, wildlands are a fascinating place, but there are some other things to discuss. We'll be because on our way. He doesn't seem Good like he's to likely to be a tracker. He seems more like some sort of retired old dog that's standing up here and looking at the sky with all these telescopes and stuff. Is it Taiko? Okay, so I think we will go back to the main overview map and I will take a look at, at my old video and try to find out where I saw this weird tracking ferret because I'm pretty sure it was a tracking ferret unless I'm getting completely confused but yeah we will then try to find him and hopefully figure out who left that pull mark in the mud on the next episode so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time